okay welcome back again and today our topic is to host a service in IIS the WCF service uh, I know I have covered this already in my past but the video does not contains an audio so I got a lot of complaints so I would like to convert this video in audio so the people understand much better and much faster and they do perform well so without wasting our time let's get started so in order to create, I mean, host a service in W, I mean, WC service in IIS. First of all, there are three types of hosting we have. One is a self-hosting, second is IIS on which we are focusing, and the third is a WAS hosting. All right. So let's move on. Let's create a service application. So I got a solution explorer. I can add new project. All right. In which I can go to web. I can say WCF service application, and I'll call this service as WCF mm, I'll call it my service my I'll just call it service so this is a service right all right so it will take a while because my system kind of sucks um, all right so you can see I have my service application ready and now as you can see I get a by default service which actually I'm not interested in into so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna close it down alright and as you can see the solution explorer I got services which I don't need it right now so I'll do one thing I'll right click I'll delete them and it's gone yes it is gone now I'll add a new item and that would be a WCF service alright and I'll call this service as my service so this is I'm trying to create a my service alright so it has you can see one interface and one service right so what I'll do is I'll convert this uh, as you can see the interface is pretty simple it's got service contract it got operation contract and it, I got one function so instead what I'll do is I'll convert this guy to string alright and I'll take a parameter as string as well I'll go to my service dot SVC so as you can see this is the interface and this is my service and I need to change this to string I think I've done something wrong I have to change it to string then string again and val alright val and now I will simply return something like this I'll return and I'll say date time dot now dot do string short time no 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 to short date string plus I'll return the val alright so this is what I'm returning and I'll do one thing I'll create some space I'll add some space alright so as you can see it one second I'll show you this is what I'm doing I'm just showing date time and you can see the date time and something like this so now what I'll do is first I'll check uh, my solution explorer in which I'll check out my web.config file in which I'll see the configuration has been done for me alright so I'll step down and as I move down you can see let me close that guy this is for the i service one so I don't need this this is the default configuration given by the Visual Studio when I, I added my service and this is the default behavior which was given for service one so my service is ready my service is using WSHG binding right so next thing what I'm gonna do is I'll get down here I'll click right click I'll save you in browser and hopefully it should open up uh, Mozilla for me and as you can see now my service is running at the virtual port right and if you open the service you can see this is a service and everything is yeah blah 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 alright so service is good and running so next our job is to make something like this instead of localhost I'll go and I'll say something like this localhost and I'll try 
to see the service but which is not exist because the service is not available in the IIS so let's do that in order to do that right click on the project so, uh, say properties all right in properties go to the section called as web and web right now the it was uh, right now you saw the browser 9456 was a virtual port at which my service was running right so instead now we'll say instead of running on this I like to run this whole thing on IIS alright so when you do that you say so this guy gets disabled automatically this visual development server goes down so and then you say I want to create a virtual directory alright so it will create a virtual directory for you and if you want then you save it alright now you go down there one second now you do is called as inet manager now inet manager is a place where you see your service if it is hosted correctly so this is my default and as you can see my service is hosted right there right now if I go down like this manage application if I try to browse you can see my services being I'm running this whole I'm running this whole thing through NIS and which worked pretty good right you see my PC name and everything so it works pretty good alright so let's do this thing so you can see your service is hosted in IIS now let's do one thing let's go quickly and do the check the check would be again view in browser and it's going to open up the same thing which we saw earlier right so finally now you have hosted the service in the IIS now the next job is to confirm that service is working correctly and service is working out as expected so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a console application I call this guy as client alright so client is there in place now references I'll add service reference and I don't have so I don't know anything about service reference so I'll say one second and do close tab I'll say back this is my service I'll copy the path I'll come here I'll paste the path and then I'll say go yeah and it does find the service right the service is located I'll call the service as proxy so this is my proxy as soon as my proxy gets added I get uh, program.cs and you can check out the further things like for the web.config what you have done is like you set up everything the configuration which you have done for the service model behavior what binding you are using everything is done for you in the client end itself so you can check out the app.config and you can check everything like you have used binding then what type of endpoint is there then what type of contract you have so everything is down there you don't have to worry all you need to do is now call the client so looking at the directory structure in the solution explorer I can see I got a proxy right so I'll start like this proxy dot and I have the my service so I'll get my service client and then I'll say client is equal to new service client one second I'll get more space so you can see it so this is what I'm doing and hit alt enter what happened I'll be using var right and I'll say simply client dot do work which is my service and it says jigsaw right it says jigsaw semicolon console dot read line and before I run this I would like to show you the service as you know the service what the service is doing is simply this is the method in which the service invokes a value or alright whatever value comes here gets simply printed over here right so let's check out again I'll make this guy as a startup project and now I'll run this program so the client application runs and as you can see oh, something went wrong unable to automatically debug one second I think I have a problem let me check I'm sorry I had to stop the video the problem was this the compilation debug was false so I made it true and when I run this thing I did 
make one more mistake which I was not supposed to do it console dot write line and then I'm supposed to say that do the work and let's get out of here so if I run this thing one more time you can see it is asking me uh, attach so I want to attach a service because it runs under this service right so as soon as I do that I get the successful message right so I hope you got the idea how do you host a service uh, in IIS alright and let's recap what are the steps we have taken first we have created the service application done second we browse the application on the virtual port 9436 I hope you remember then third we host the service in IIS and again I showed you in IIS the service got hosted we browse the service at the using localhost and then we created a client and we did the operation and it worked out pretty fine right so I hope you got the idea if you like the video please subscribe and comments are always welcome thank you for watching this video